upon your feet and make some note as we welcome on this Thanksgiving Sunday night all the way from right here I said all the way from right here I said all the way from right here the bring back the choir workshop choir. come on make some noise as they come make some noise make some noise make some noise Back.
them? You want to hear them do it? Come on. Okay, so part of let me hear you say, he's worthy.
riches in glory.
this night hallelujah if he's if you know that he's all that you need in your life can we just stand up on our feet really quick and begin to lift up the name of Jesus in this place hallelujah 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 the scripture says I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise hallelujah can we just lift up the name of Jesus this this night hallelujah he's been too good for us to sit down and be quiet it's Thanksgiving night hallelujah can we just lift up a Thanksgiving praise hallelujah in this place this night hallelujah 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 with the the short time that I have um I'll be using a scripture Acts 4 verses 18 I won't read it um, I don't want to take up too much time, but can you just look at somebody and just tell them simply, just look at them and announce my, my topic for the, the next couple of minutes and just tell them it's in the name. 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 I believe that the greatest name ever known is the name of Jesus. Some, some, some may say that the greatest weapon we have is the blood of Jesus. And certainly that, that is true. The, the blood of Jesus has power and it has weight to it. Just like the old hymn says, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You all, you all know the hymn. And although that is true, the blood would not be the blood without the name. I, I believe that times are now changing and that the enemy will try any and anything to try and discredit and down play the name of Jesus because he, he knows that the name of Jesus still has power uh, and not, not, not only does the devil know that the name of Jesus does miracles but he also knows that the name has power to raise you up from where you are uh, when you're in trouble it wasn't your friends who got you out uh, when you or a loved one was in the hospital and the doctors didn't know what to do you didn't see a doctor come in with a lab coat on uh, you didn't you didn't see him tell you what was wrong but when you called on the name of Jesus healing showed up in that room it, it wasn't the degree that you have that saved your life but it was the name of Jesus who saved you uh, when anybody know what I'm talking about here uh, when your car spins out of control in the middle of a snowstorm and you didn't know what to do you didn't call on your mother or you didn't call on your father but only the only person beside you if there was someone there but when you called on the name of Jesus uh, he was the only only name that was able to save you uh, here 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 we see two familiar people by the name of Peter and John who were arrested for simply preaching the name of Jesus uh, but you have to go back to the third chapter of Acts uh, uh, Peter and John were on their way to the temple and passed by a certain lame man from his mother's womb who was begging for money but what I like about Peter and John what they did in verse 6 was that they did three things they acknowledged what they did not have they, they acknowledge what they did have and they never forgot what they originally had <laughs> They, they say in verse 6, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. They didn't give him what he wanted, but rather they gave him exactly what he needed. Uh, this, this lame man, he gets up and receives his healing and walks into the temple with them. All of the people who realized, who walked by him at the same time, they realized that it was the same man who sat outside of the temple and and they all came together filled with wonder and amazement as to how this man got healed and began to spread the word around and what you've got to know tonight is that when the power of Jesus shows up word is going to spread around this city in Toronto Ontario Canada uh, and it was at that point where Peter saw his opportunity and we have to be like Peter and see the opportunity and seize the moment to preach to the crowd about the power of the name of Jesus it was at it was their preaching that upset those who were trying to downplay the name of Jesus in chapter 4 so they were arrested and thrown in jail because they could not afford for the news to spread around that the name of Jesus could heal and so and so they were arrested and they were asked in verse 7 by what power or by what name have he done this in I, I like Peter here because he simply tells them that this man was healed by the name of Jesus the man you try 
tried to kill uh, the man who you nailed up on the cross. Uh, there was the same man that you crucified. That same Jesus. Uh, we, we used his name. It, we used his name. And it was at that point that they realized that Peter and John were unschooled and ordinary men. And that they had been with Jesus. Uh, but there was a problem here because the same man who they healed in chapter 3 was standing with them as evidence that the name of Jesus uh, still has power. If you know he still has power, just clap your hands and agree with me that the name of Jesus still has power. Hallelujah. What you've got to know, what you've got to know is when you see the, when you use the name of Jesus, you might not have the degree, but you have the experience. Uh, you need the right bloodline to work in Buckingham Palace, uh, but to work for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. All you need is an encounter and your evidence can't be denied. Uh, your evidence is not what you say, but it's who you are. Uh, when you wake up in the morning and your feet hit the floor, you are evidence is that the name of Jesus still works when you lift your hands in the sanctuary and you begin to praise God you are evidence that the name of Jesus still works when you do your dance in church you are evidence that the name of Jesus it still works when you walk through those church doors this night you are evidence that the name of Jesus it still works and, and so and so I've got to go my time is almost up all the leaders got together and had a meeting and decided to tell them we'll let them go you, you can keep on preaching you can keep on dancing just as long as you don't use the name of Jesus anymore because that name has too much power and that name has too much anointing in it uh, but I like I like I like Peter and John because they simply tell them we know too much to sit down and be quiet we can we know would rather obey God than man for there's no other name that we can preach in there is no other name that we can baptize in there is no other name that we can heal the sick in there is no other name that we can raise the dead in there is no other name that we can cast demons out in hallelujah for our help is in the name of the Lord because some trust in horses and some trust in chariots but we will remember the name of the Lord for the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run in and they are safe somebody call him somebody call him somebody call him for his name shall be called wonderful counselor the everlasting father He's the mighty God, he's the lily of the valley, the prince of peace, the bright and morning star. What's his name? Hallelujah, he's Jehovah Jireh, he's my Jehovah Nisi, he's Jehovah Rapha. Somebody stand up on your feet and call the name Jesus.
God can do what is done for others, He will do the same for you. In other words, I know the Lord. 